allows us to realize the dream of Dr. Frankenstein and breathe fresh life into the dead. That at least is the premise of a new novel by one of our most acclaimed authors, Jeanette Winterson. In her reboot of Mary Shelley's gothic horror story, human consciousness and personality can preserve, be preserved digitally, like so much data. In Frankenstein, Mary Shelley herself has become transgender, while her friend Lord Byron is now Ron Lord, purveyor of sex bots. Our cultural correspondent Stephen Smith has been talking to Jeanette Winterson at a new exhibition at the Barbican in London called AI More Than Human. <laughs> We're on a journey into the future of humankind and our relationship with artificial life. Now the theme of an exhibition at the Barbican, it's been the subject of often queasy fascination for at least 200 years, since a scientist put the national grid through his wretched creation. Mary Shelley's Frankenstein is a story that's been told many times, not least in this peerless Hollywood version from 1931, with Boris Karloff as the monster. Well, when I was growing up, the Bible was the main text, in fact, the only text in our household. But on Saturday nights at that time, only three channels on the TV, they used to have Hammer Horror. And uh, Mrs. Winterson really loved a Hammer Horror. So, yes, I saw Boris Karloff with the bolt through the neck, and I thought it was wonderful. Here we go! Whee! Oh, there must be a road here somewhere. Oh, no, need. Oh, oh. Jeanette Winterson's excited by what robots can do for us. And oh look, they can tell. This piece of AI scans her features to read her mood. Oh, no, no, it's the sheep again. Don't kill all the sheep. Oh, no. The writer has reanimated the Frankenstein story for our times. Mary Shelley becomes Rye Shelley, uh, who's there because he's trans, and Rye is short, not for Ryan, but for Mary. Did you have any hesitancy about including a trans character? No, I think trans characters are really pointing towards the future. And one of the wonderful things about the trans movement is it's showing the rest of us that anything is possible. Lord Byron was obsessed with sex, the mad, bad, dangerous, you know, he slept with everything, male, female, animal, as far as we know. So I thought, what shall I do with him in the present? I know, I'll turn him into Ron Lord, who's built this vast empire, he's fabulously wealthy, at manufacturing sex bots, but Ron thinks he's on a mission to help humanity. A sex bot is not a human being, said Claire. Yeah, that's right, said Ron. And neither is a dog or a cat. We wouldn't be without them, though, would we? Even tropical fish. People can feel close to fish. They come home from work, they sit next to the aquarium. We all need something. That's life. So why not a robot? My first bot was there for me when I got home from work. And there was none of the usual, where have you been? What time do you call this? Felt better than I ever had before. Stop the Xanax, my rash. Cleared out. He did the monster mash. It was a graveyard smash. He did the mash. It caught on in a flash. He did the mash. He did the monster mash. Mary Shelley imagined that Victor Frankenstein would have to sew together his inanimate corpse and make it come alive because there was no question of robotics or AI. But now you wouldn't need the dead body on the slab. All you need is zeros and ones to make a new life form. He or it? I think it's she. You think it's she? Fair <laughs> enough, yeah. okay. Appears very benign. Yes, she does. But do you feel slightly scared in there or perfectly comfortable? I feel perfectly comfortable. We've already been able to augment ourselves as humans, whether it's laser eye surgery, kidney transplants. In theory, we could live forever. You know, there's a lot of people working on this, that death will no longer be the end. So the thing that the religions of the world have been saying forever now seems to be aligning with what science is saying is possible. Welcome to the future, it's a culture. The future's here already. In her novel, Winterson imagines AI replacing writers. But this poem, Photo Booth at the Barbican, will write you a little verse. 
Just type in one word and the muse in the machine does the rest. But that is definitely very Shelley. This judgment cannot change the wild defeat. The romantics love wild as a word. Perfect. AI will probably start producing art for its own kind, not for us. I mean, why would it bother? I mean, we'll be just like plankton in the intelligence scales. On the subject of sex bots, if it's not too personal, <laughs> would you give one a try? <laughs> the problem is that sex bots at present are for men. I mean, they've got three holes, all usable, no clitoris. That's not much interest to me. And the problem with making male sex bots is that really it's just like a shot window mannequin with a dildo attached. I mean, they're very boring. You know, women are going to want a lot more persuading. And actually, there's going to have to be a lot more imagination. <laughs> Jeanette Winterson with Steve Smith. That's all we have time for. Have a great weekend. Good night.